down like the pouring rain. Through the clouds of pieces on the nest, through the sun shall be the pain. I get up early in the morning, I go to bed so late at night. I can go like this much longer, till everything's alright. I wanna roll in, shut out of darkness, escape the cold. I wanna roll in. Are you looking for somebody to anchor your life? God is your hope. He is what you need. You need the hope that you can bet your life on. Turn your life over to Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. I was so happy and felt the Holy Spirit upon me, drawing me to him. I realized I needed Jesus and I accepted him as my personal savior. I reached behind me in my bag and took out a stone and I said, here Lord, take this fear. I reached in again and grabbed the burden of anger. I said, Lord, I need help with this anger in me. I can't do it on my own. So I threw it away and gave it back to God. And the one of lying, and I threw that one away too. I went and found the stone of jealousy. I reached into my bag once again and found a Bible. I started reading it, and as I was reading and worshiping God, I was beginning to feel overjoyed and ask God for direction. I needed to be reassured. I found love, peace, joy, and hope. God heard me and gave me his love. As I wandered, I ended up in the woods alone with just my cell phone. Instead of calling out for God to help me to find a way back, I used my cell phone to call for help, but there was no signal. I kept trying and trying, not paying attention to my surroundings. Unbelief was taking over. Fear was coming back. I started calling out to God for help. God, please help me. I'm so lost right now. I remembered Isaiah 41.10. Don't be afraid, because I am with you. Don't be intimidated. I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will support you with my victorious right hand. I saw in front of me the snakes circling around, coming towards me. I could hear their hissing. I don't know where to go or which direction to go. I looked around and I realized that I could not overcome this situation by myself. I could not make the snakes go away. Psalm 46 reminds me God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. I realized the temptations that came to me. I cannot fight them on my own. I called out to God for help. Luke 10, 19 reminded me that, Behold, I have given you the authority to tread on serpents and scorpions over all the power of the enemy, and nothing will injure you. He gave me the courage to trample on those snakes that they were holding me back. As he was guiding me through the woods, I came to a body of water. I was thirsty, so hungry and very tired. I saw fish jumping out of the water and decided to go into this alligator infested water. I was after any fish that I could grab with my bare hands. I finally caught one. Oh, I 
was so happy. I would have food and water from this river. I decided to try one more time and was able to catch another fish. Thank you, Father. In Matthew 6, So I tell you to stop worrying about what you will eat or drink or wear. Isn't life more than food and the body more than clothes? Look at the birds. They don't plant, harvest, or gather the harvest into barns. Yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Aren't you worth more than they? Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus, for your words. As I carried the fish, I was searching for some wood because I needed a fire to cook these fish. As I moved on and came upon some frying pans, two cups and two forks hidden in the bushes. Thank you, Lord. I saw something in the distance in the trees. It was two old chairs just sitting there. I walked over to them. I looked in my pockets to see if I had any matches. No, and if I did, they'd be wet. Thank you, Lord, for this food, pans, cups, and silverware. Thank you for the wood. And I thank you that you're going to find a way for me to cook this food. So show me the way. Suddenly there was a spark that came upon the wood and I had a fire. Thank you, Father, for your mercy. But felt so alone and had no one to share this experience with. Father, I just want to share and tell the whole world about you and what you've done for me. I turned and suddenly a stranger came out of the woods walking towards me. I felt no fear, yet sensed he had troubles too. I asked him to join me. We sat down on the chairs. God had provided the fish and I began to cook them in the frying pan. We started talking about how great God is and all the things he has accomplished for each one of us. We actually listened to each other's trials. We encouraged one another to continue on in this journey of faith. We praised God together as we ate this delicious meal. And we remembered Matthew 5, 6. Blessed are they which hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. <laughs>